All right, my friends, check that out. Beautiful, beautiful glide bait with an incredible paint job on it. That lure is from BC Customs. He reached out to me on Instagram. He sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous bait. It's it's a pretty good size bait, but you know it's a size of bait that could still catch two, three pound fish, but definitely big enough to attract, you know, a teener. So many baits, so many baits like this are painted like bluegill colors, but I wanted this one to be crappie something a little bit different and i love the way that especially this bait as you'll see in the water it kind of flashes and it shows that white underbelly and i think that draws fish in from a good distance away and you know sometimes i'll catch four or five six pound bass out of the ponds i fish and there'll be a crappie tail sticking out of their throat so i'm super excited to try this thing i don't know much at all about glide bait fishing but hopefully we can learn something today I'm absolutely terrified of losing this thing, so I've got 30 pound mono. I got my Cast King Royale Legend 200, which is a perfect size reel for this. I think this swim bait's a little over two ounces. Cast King Speedy Man Pro Punch and 711 rod. So, pretty stout rod for a pretty good sized bait. And what's pretty epic is even without any action, just a straight reel. Look at that thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. With baits this big, you get a lot of followers. And when that happens, one of the best things to do in my somewhat uneducated opinion with swim baiting is that when they're following it, if you pop it hard, like I just did right there, it will turn the entire bait around. And when it turns the bait around just like that, just like that, it turns to face the fish that's following it, and that pisses them off so much, and they just kill it. Did you see him? There was like a two pounder there that followed it up. Golly! See that giant under him? Oh. Yeah, that is epic. Oh my gosh, man. How freaking cool. Oh my gosh. That is the coolest stinking thing. It's my first five minutes of throwing this thing. Pretty eventful few minutes there. Not an absolute giant, but dang, pretty good. Pretty good first glide bait fish for me. That is stinking cool. They get bigger, but he's pretty big. Oh my gosh, there was a fish there. I'm trying to take a video on my phone and there was a fish that followed this thing up. Look at him, look at him, look at him. That's the coolest stinking thing, man. Oh my gosh, is that not cool? I'm not gonna pretend I really know what to do in situations like that, you know? But regardless, it's just so cool to see. I think I'm gonna put on my polarized lens so y'all can see more. Look at him. Come on, buddy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, you make me sick. Come on.
got it. Heck yeah. That is awesome. Brawny little post spawn fella. But he hit it. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, he got it. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, man. Okay, there was two. There was two. That's so cool. Uh, okay, we lost that one. There was another one. I wasn't, look at, oh, he's right here. He's right here, he's right in front of me. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh. That's the coolest freaking thing. He's fired up. Oh, that's awesome, man. First one hit it and then kind of veered off. Then I was just looking at the first one that swam out there and didn't see the other one following it up. That's so cool. Man, I got excited about that. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Oh, that is the coolest stinking thing! Gosh darn it, man. Gosh darn it. Bro, look at him, look at him. I don't know, but he just follows this up. He's right in front of me. He's just like a two pounder or three pounder, but I just put this this swim bike in the water. <laughs> you see him? Yeah. Gosh. If you got a, uh, yeah. But if you got a uh, soft plastic, be my guess. Do you see the hole? If you can get it in that hole, he might be in there. Yeah. It's a lightweight. <laughs> Takes a minute. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Good job. That's awesome. So I was here yesterday throwing this bait and that fish followed this bait up like six times. Look at him. Come on, buddy. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Really? And he would come out of that hole and follow this bait up and never ate it. And I knew if you put that in there, he would bite. That's pretty cool. Basically, yeah, because it goes way. Golly, dude, look at that. That was so cool. Oh, he just... He destroyed it. I thought that boy was a lot bigger. Beautiful. That's a monster. I'm gonna definitely catch bigger fish than this on this glide bait. But for right now, that's a monster. Check him out. Beautiful fish. Biggest one so far on this bait. 
That is a lot of fun. Not a giant, not a huge one, but still a monster for me in these urban ponds, and he's just cool. All right, my friends, we had an absolute blast with this thing. BC's custom swim baits. That thing is a bunch of fun. Um, definitely gonna fish a bunch more with it, try and get something over eight or nine or 10 with it um, for this video. We just got a whole bunch of solid fish. Looking at the numbers, I think I've fished for four or five hours to show you guys most of what happened. There's a few fish I didn't include that were just too small or little follows that I didn't include that I don't think would be too interesting. But that's a lot of action for a bait that big, in my opinion. Um, two to three bites per hour type of deal probably and some of them some of them was like back-to-back -back cast and it was just really really cool to watch fish hunt this thing down and watch them kill it absolute blast I'll leave a link to the IG of my pal BC here and uh, a link to his website as well if you want to check that bait out it's a beast thank y'all for watching